Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys three new satisfying high ground retakes you guys should learn in practice because learning high new high ground retakes is probably in my opinion one of the best ways to improve and get better at this game when it comes to building and editing and in this video I have three different new retakes I want you guys to practice and learn. And real quick, before we get into the video, up on the screen, I have the V-Buck giveaway winner of this week. I give away 2,000 V-Bucks every single Friday. So if you guys like to participate in the next giveaway and win some free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys do turn on post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video. And we're going to announce the winners. And lastly, leave a comment down below of either your Xbox Gamer Tag, your PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account, and you guys will be automatically entered into the next giveaway. And lastly, make sure you guys do support me in the item shop. All you guys have to do is go down to the bottom right, click on support a creator, type in creator code YOUNGHUMOR, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator in the item shop. And alright guys, let's go right to the video. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys three new satisfying high ground retakes for you guys to learn and practice because like I mentioned at the very beginning, learning new high ground retakes is a very good way to improve your building speed and also your editing and it really just helps you out a ton because when you're learning new retakes, it forces you to learn maybe different mechanics that otherwise you maybe not have practiced before and that's why I like learning and also improving on the retakes that I learn. And so going into the first retake, I want to show you guys, and that's the one I'm showing you on screen. And of course, with all the retakes in this video, I'm going to have slow motion of all of them. Because when it comes for me, when I learn different retakes, for me, I, I learn the best just by watching the other player. Just seeing exactly how they do it. Because sometimes when people do retakes, it can look really, really quick. And you might not understand exactly how it's done. So that's why I wanted to have slow motion for all the retakes in this video. Now with this retake here specifically, this one necessarily isn't too difficult. This really is all about timing and your placement because you have to make sure that when you go for this retake after you place the cone as you can see. So I go up, I place the cone and as I place the cone, you have to make sure you place the two walls in the back so that the entire thing doesn't break. So if this thing is not necessarily too difficult, it's all about placement. You have to make sure you place those two back walls and I'll also have like a break, a step by step on exactly how I'm doing it as well. So just in case you couldn't exactly see what I was doing, all I'm doing here is I'm placing a wall and as soon as I place the wall as I'm looking forward, I place a ramp and a cone and from the cone I extend, I extend outwards with a ramp, a floor and another ramp. I edit, the, I edit the floor and once I do that, you can either just place one cone or you can place the cone on top of the ramp and to the side. Really doesn't matter but once you do that, you have to make sure as I just stated earlier that you place the two back walls otherwise the entire structure will break and that is going to be the most important part of this retake. So I do the first part of the retake, I place all of my structures and then what I'm doing here, I'm placing the two cones and as soon as I place the two cones, then I place the two back walls and like I said, you don't have to place both the cones, you can only place one if you want to and then once you do that, you want to make sure you place those two walls in the back so it connects to the first structure that you built and also the cone that you just built as well so it makes everything connected so it doesn't break instantly after you finish off the edit so here it is again in slow motion as you can see you only need to place one cone after the start so after i do here i only have to place one cone here you can place another cone on top of that second ramp you placed if you really want to if you're in game and you feel like you're going to get shot out from above then obviously you can definitely make this a little bit more protected by placing a few more cones just after the ramp here that i just placed and so this is the first retake. I think this one is this is probably the most difficult. The other ones aren't too difficult at all. But I really like this one a lot. And I would definitely recommend practicing this one. It would help you guys a ton with your builds and also your edits. So going into the second retake that I want to show you guys. Now this one's all about your timing. This one's not. This is probably the easiest one to do once you have it down. It's not too difficult. You can do this very consistently, very easily. But with this one, here it is in slow motion. What I'm doing is initially I'm placing a cone. So I place a ramp. I place a cone. And once I do that, I edit the top two squares of the cone. So it kind of makes like a backwards ramp facing me. And once I do that, I place another cone on top. After I place the cone, I go for a side jump. So I place a wall or a I, put, I place a floor 
under the cone that I just edited to make a ramp. And then as I'm doing that, I'm jumping to the side. So I place two, two floors. And then once I place the second floor, I place a stairs in which right here I jump on and then I go for another 180 and then I continue to ramp up. So with this one, probably the biggest mistake you might make is just going to be after the first jump. The last part's extremely easy. And as, as far as me, the first edit's ex extremely easy too. It's just going for the first jump. Sometimes you can accidentally place the ramp above you. So if this one really is just about your timing and technique, because this one really isn't too difficult at all. Once you have it down and understand how this retake is done, it's just the hardest part is going for that first side jump because you want to make sure that once you're jumping over to the side that you're jumping on the floor and the ramp so here you place the cone on top and once you do that then you jump to the side and then one of the biggest mistakes as you almost just saw right there i'm basically placing the ramp above me and so when you're doing this you really just have to make sure that when you land you don't want to land too far over to the side otherwise you're going to get thrown under under the ramp so you want to land just barely over to the side so that way you land at the bottom of the ramp and it doesn't place over you so once you get the timing of this one down and the like what i really mean is the timing of the side jump because that's the hardest part once you get that part down the rest of the retake is very easy i think the start of it's easy and the end of it's easy it's just that side jump that can throw you guys off you could be getting thrown under your ramp but other than that i really like this retake i think it's really cool it's not too difficult i think anybody can learn this retake with just a little bit of practice so definitely give this one a try and also the thing i like about retakes a lot is you can really mix and match any retakes in this game as you just saw i probably threw in like three or four different retakes after that one so that's why i really like learning new high ground retakes because you can all you can throw them all together and make some pretty crazy combinations and so going into the third and final retake in this video, for me, this one was the easiest to learn just because with a ton of retakes that I've learned in the past, I've had to go for the same double edit on the floor and cone. So it just felt super easy, super natural, and it wasn't too difficult. So for me, it was the easiest to learn. Some of you guys, it could be completely different. But for this one, here it is a slow motion of exactly what I'm doing. It's not necessarily too difficult. All I'm doing is I'm placing the floor and the cone. I'm going for a double edit. And as soon as I go for the double edit, I'm placing another cone that's connected to to the floor and cone that I just edited. Once I do that, I extend a ramp out to the side. I turn a little bit, I place another floor and ramp, and then I continue to ramp out. So this one, this isn't necessarily too difficult. The only problem with this one is if you're doing it in game, it's going to be a little bit more difficult if you don't add if you don't add any extra builds because I can assume that this one would probably be very easy to shoot out. But this one's something that's very cool and very good to learn for creative builds. But for game, you might want to go for a retake that has a little bit more uh, extra builds to the side, a little bit more protection to the side. So in case you get shot out, it's going to be a lot more difficult to do so. But this one looks really cool and it's something you guys should definitely learn. So as you can see, what you do is you go for the double edit. As soon as you do that, you place the cone. And once you place the cone, you want to continue looking in that same direction. You place a ramp extending out from the cone. And once you place that ramp, then you turn a little bit to the side. You place a floor and then you place another ramp. And then you go for the final edit on the floor. And then you should continue to ramp out. So that's how it's done. Not, not very too difficult. Just takes a little bit of timing and a little bit of practice to get it down. But for me, like I said, this was the easiest for me to learn just because I'm so used to going for that double edit because I've done so many retakes with it and so that was the third and final retake i want to show you guys in this video so if you guys are looking for even more retakes to learn i have a ton of other videos on my channel all you guys have to do is go to the search bar type in young humor high ground retake and i have a ton of other really good high ground retake videos with much different some some retakes are easier some retakes i have a couple retakes that are extremely extremely difficult so if you guys are looking for more for some more retakes definitely just look that up on youtube you guys will find a ton of really good content and also just like a little secret if you guys see any if you see any of your favorite players maybe do a retake that you haven't seen before one thing to do kind of wink wink nudge nudge if you guys want to down in the bottom right of youtube you have like the little like I think it's a little like little setting thing. You can turn the playback speed to like 0.10% or maybe like 0.25%. So if you see one of your favorite players do like a retake in game that you've never seen before and you have no idea how they do it, all you have to do is just scroll back, go down to the bottom right, click on the like 0.25 playback speed, and you can see exactly how you can see basically a slow motion of how they do the retake, and it's super easy to learn, and that's how I learn a ton of my retakes. I see a lot of a, a great variety of players, and I see exactly how they do their retakes, and that's how I learn a lot of mine myself. Some of these I figure out by myself, but there's still a lot of retakes. If you see one of your favorite players do a retake you've never seen, you can easily just put the playback speed on pretty low, and you can see exactly how they're doing their retake and you can learn a lot from it 
And I just wanted to mention that because a lot of you guys probably, or probably a decent amount of you guys already know, but there's still probably a handful of you guys who don't because back in my old high ground retake videos, I used to not have the slow motion because I thought all you guys already knew you could put it on slow motion. So I thought I'd include that just in case you see one of your favorite players do a really cool retake that you've never seen before. Just put the playback speed on really low on YouTube and you can see exactly how they do their retake in slow motion. But so those are the three retakes I wanted to show you guys in this video that I think are really cool and I really recommend trying to learn and practice and just to throw in your inventory or box of tricks when it comes to creative building. But with that being said, that's wrapping up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys liked it, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Make sure you guys do hit that post notification so you guys get notified for every single new upload. And as well, I do live stream every single day here on this channel at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys do hit that notification bell so you guys will get notified when I go live on this channel. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And alright guys, I'll see you next time.